Hey guys, I'm Jared, and this is Cobra Hero 3 Vids, and today I'm going to be giving you the runtime test with all the resolutions on the Hero 3 Black. With 4K, we can only film in 15 frames per second, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep it in the wide field of view all the time. And we're going to shuffle over. Okay. And try to start this roughly the same time. Go. And we'll come back when the camera dies. All right, guys. So we ended up getting an actually pretty impressive one hour, 17 minutes, and 38 seconds, which is a lot more than what I was expecting for the 4K. And we're going to start 2.7K, 30 frames per second. And set, start. All right, guys. So with 2.7K on 30 frames per second, we got one hour and 11 minutes and 48 seconds. All right, so now we're just gonna quickly power on the camera. I've gone on and recharged it. And we are going to switch over to 1440, 30 frames per second. I guess it's already switched there for some reason or other. So here we go. We're gonna go start our recording time, see how long we get with runtime on this. All right, so I accidentally let the timer run a bit longer than when the camera shut down because I left, but I uh, plugged the camera into my computer and I looked at the size of the video that was on there. And our time was 1 hour, 18 minutes, and 43 seconds on 1440, 30 frames per second. So you can see that's a, not a really big difference from... 4k which was only one hour 17 minutes and 38 seconds so uh, now we're gonna go on and do uh, 10 8 all right so I charged up the camera again and we are set to 10 1080 30 frames per second and we've got our timer and everything ready to roll so we're gonna go and go and we'll come back to you with the results all right guys so on 1080 at 30 frames per second I got a nice runtime of 1 hour 28 minutes and 16 seconds which is actually pretty good for the Hero 3 they maybe have had something to do with those firmware updates I wasn't getting those run times last time when I ran on 1080 so yeah that's pretty good so now we're gonna go on and try another resolution alright guys so I went down to a lower resolution now we are at 960 at 48 frames per second so we are going to see the runtime we've got on that so we're just going to hit the shutter button and the timer and three two one go and we'll come back with you later all right guys one hour 32 minutes and 46 seconds the camera shut down on 960 uh, with 48 frames per second because that was the lowest frame rate I could make um, so now we're going to go down to 720 all right so now we are on 720 by 60 frames per second so or with 60 frames per second we are on a full charge. We are going to do 720 and um, with 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second. Um, just to kind of give you guys, because I know that's what you're going to be doing with those lower resolutions. But um, so we're just going to give these a shot now. So we're just going to start this up. And this is 720 by 6 or with 60 frames per second wide field of view. So 3, 2, 1, go. And I'll come back to you when that timer's done. All right, guys, so on 720 with 60 frames per second, you get one hour, 20 minutes, and 42 seconds of runtime. All right, so we'll just quickly reset that. I've got the camera set on 720 um, on 120 frames per second. So we are going to see the runtime with that, and then we'll go all the way down to our bottom resolution, which is WVGA with 240 frames per second. But first, we're gonna see how long this runtime goes. We are in the wide field of view, just so you can get a quick view of everything there. That's what everything looks like. Timer's reset and go. So we're gonna give this a shot and I'll come back to you when that's dead. All right, so with 720 at 120 frames per second, I got one hour and 24 minutes and nine seconds. I have to say I'm getting really odd run times here like sometimes I'll be it'll just go way longer and sometimes not it's just really weird so yeah but this is that's the point of this video so anyways now we're gonna go on down to the bottom resolution which is WVGA but it films at 240 frames per second and we're going to see how long we can film with that alrighty so as you can see we've got it set on WVGA 240 frames per second we got the clock reset 
And five, four, three, two, one. Oops. And I'll come back to you when that's done, and then we'll just give you a quick overview of everything that the frame rates are at. All right, guys, so our final time with WVGA at 240 frames per second was one hour, 14 minutes, and six seconds. All right, guys, so I'm gonna read off all the resolutions and run times right here really quick from the phone. On 4K, 15 frames per second, we got one hour, 17 minutes, and 38 seconds. On 2.7K, 30 frames per second, which was sporting our worst time, was one hour, 11 minutes, and 48 seconds. At 1440 by or the 30 frames per second, it was one hour, 18 minutes and 43 seconds. At 1080, 30 frames per second, it was one hour, 28 minutes, 16 frames per second. At 960, 48 frames per second, sporting our best time was one hour, 32 minutes and 46 seconds. At 720, 60 frames per second, it was one hour, 20 minutes and 42 seconds. 720, 120 frames per second, one hour, 24 minutes, and nine seconds, and WBGA, 240 frames per second, one hour, 14 minutes, and six seconds. Guys, this has been Jared with GoPro Hero 3 Vids. As always, thanks for watching.